so I think we should bring out our guest. Uh, he's a brilliant guy. He's a principal researcher at Microsoft. He's making some, frankly, bizarre stuff. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Please welcome Andy Wilson from Microsoft. Hello. How are you? Thanks, Thanks so Thanks. much. No pressure. No pressure, but you have to one-up Battleship. Oh, Can you do that? Okay. I'll try. It's kind of low pressure. <laughs> uh, so, Andy, these guys don't know you. Maybe they know you a little bit. We did a video uh, uh, months ago, like right. a year ago or something, yeah. uh, that I thought was really came cool. But visited. Yeah. I came to visit your home away from home, your lab, yep. which uh, you actually do live there. It was live a lot of fun. In. You do live there, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, tell me what you do. Where, how, did you, how did you start doing this, and what do you do at Microsoft? And, and uh, give, me your, give me a little of your backstory. So I'm a researcher at Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft has a, has a big uh, research group of about 850 PhD level folks doing research on all sorts of things. Uh, I'm mostly interested in natural user interaction and different ways that we can exploit sensing technologies and display technologies in, in completely novel ways and remake the way that we relate with computers. So um, uh, a lot of the things that you saw there are prototypes where we believe very firmly in, in building things and playing with them and, and just sort of finding our way through uh, all this, these new things just by experimenting and, and trying as many things as we can. And your work is, I mean, from what I saw in, in some of the stuff we're going to show today, your work is, is really about, uh, I mean, we're, we're very used now to these kinds of, we have a screen or we have something in front of us, or we have something in our hand and we interact with that. We're kind of like going into that interface. Your yeah. stuff is like taking that interface out into the world. I mean, a lot of what you do is, is it's like projecting onto the world, basically, and making the world the interface. Where does that where does that instinct come from? I mean, what is the what is the end game for you with that? So that's right. So so I like to call it beyond the surface. So, you know, so I worked on uh, the first version of Surface, uh, the one that used uh, video cameras, the large 30-inch tabletop, and uh, so for me, it's always been about what can we do with sensing technologies in interesting ways. And for me, the the, some, the work that we've done with depth cameras, for example, uh, you know lifts all of the interaction we're getting off of touch screens out into the real world. And, and that's where we really live. We don't live in the, the, the flat plane of a display. We live in the real world. Let's bring the sensing and display into our real world. So I mean, you, you, you headed up the Surface project when it was a large table. So I did the very first prototype, and, and a couple of us, uh, a couple guys and I, uh, did the first uh, efforts around uh, Surface and building the first prototype. It was a lot of fun. Really. Was it painful to watch uh, Microsoft introduce a tiny tablet called the Surface? Did that no, make you actually, feel? No, actually, I was very flattered that they decided to reuse our name. I thought that was a great choice. But now you can't call the Surface the Surface That's anymore. right. There, that's, that, there's that, right? And so. the, does that hurts, doesn't it? A little bit. You can share. It's <laughs> not, uh, there's no judgment here in this room, OK? Yeah. Um, so you also you incorporate a lot of Connect sort of like technology yep. into, into what you're doing. Is Connect the first? I mean, that's, you know, there aren't many consumer products that are actually utilizing the, the physical around you to, to be, yeah. is that the first step? Do you see that as just like the, you know, O point, version 0.1 of this? Absolutely, it's, it's the opening opening move in, a, I think, in a, a great, you know, uh, renaissance in natural user interfaces. You know, people have been doing this research for a long time. Uh, I was a graduate student at the MIT Media Lab in the 90s, and we were doing a lot of this hand tracking kinds of things and interacting with, with uh, things on screen that now you can go out and buy. It's really nice to be able to see that move from the lab. Gosh, it's taken a little while. But now it's like, it's now that it's commodity, uh, at least in for, for certain kinds of applications, let's think about other applications where, that, where this would actually be useful. Can, is this the kind of thing that you would find in a, in a conference room at a, at a, at a, at a at workplace? Or, that gets me excited when I hear that. Yeah. Would, would we find this in a conference room? Probably. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> Is there anything more exciting than something in a conference room? <laughs> I mean, I know well, that's, that's up here. That's like you're in, I know you're things, in right? bright orange on the conference yeah. room tech, but like, can yeah. we go to red? What about for the home? What about for the kitchen, for yeah, instance? Yeah, kitchen is a nice one because, you know, you don't want to get your hands all dirty on the, on the touchpad, right? So maybe you, uh, maybe you put that on, the, on your tabletop in, the, in, your, in your, uh, your kitchen counter and you actually lay out the recipe and the things that you need. And we have a, we've had a few demos over the years at Microsoft where you, you know, it'd be really fun for kids. You, you set out the recipe and the ingredients uh, for the recipe and kids get that. And it, yeah, sure. Can I pitch an idea to you Go for ahead. the kitchen? Let, let's hear it. So I'm imagining something like, you know, these tentacles hanging down over your, uh, over your kitchen work surface. And then you use uh, some kind of motion tracking. The, the tentacles are all full of different spices. 
oh. and use the motion track. You know, you put a chicken or something underneath, and then you yeah. just kind of minority report the spices we'll, we'll all over it. Excellent. Minority report, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's something you could work on? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> we actually have. Can, please make that happen. I just <laughs> can you, for me. Uh, we actually have some video of stuff that you that you couldn't bring with you. Yeah. Uh, this thing is called a Beamatron. Can you explain? Is this the Beamatron? That's the Beamatron. And uh, so what that the Beamatron is a pan tilt motion platform, kind of like what you see at rock concerts with lights. Except we replace the light with a projector, and a depth camera. And so what we're doing is projecting the car, and the car responds to the real world just as as if it were a real model, uh, you know, radio controlled car. And so. By using the, uh, the, the pan tilt movement, we can actually get all the way through the room. We can project a graphic into this person's hand and move that, that graphic from one hand to the other. Here's a shot, another shot of, the, of a ramp. This guy's a terrible driver. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, so the idea really is to bring the, the interaction out into your entire world. So with one camera, one projector, and this, this motion platform, we can, we can uh, you know, track these people. There's, we can project graphics onto this person. and. Uh, react appropriately. She can actually pull graphics from the wall and send them from one place to the next. And like, like a spice. Yeah, sure. For instance. You can do that. <clears throat> you could track the, the... Get the curry and... Yeah, the get, it's sure. exactly. Paprika, boom. Tentacle down onto yeah, the chicken. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then you have another one. You have, a, you have another one that we have video of, which is called the Holoflector. Can you tell me a little bit about this? This right. is like... This freak, this is insane. So this is not done on post, right? This is actually a video shot of, the, of a mirror, and I'm standing in front of the mirror, and then I'm interacting with uh, this, this graphics. And it's a little bit like the Pepper's Ghost illusion you might have seen it in you know, a Disney theme park. It's a little different, but we can superimpose graphics onto it. And so it's really augmented reality, but in a very large form factor. And we're incorporating some, some concepts from the phone. Here's, you know, maybe I'm doing a little holographic phone call. This is actually a connect recording. Is that you? Yeah. Is that, that's you talking? That's me. Holding yeah. so yourself? This is my little homage to uh, you know, Princess Leia and, you know. <laughs> yeah. little, that's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, so, so, but you brought something today. I did indeed. And, and we should take a look at it. Let's, let's check this out. What, 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 what is it called? What did you bring? This is the wearable multi-touch projector. Okay, I'm going to come up with a better name for that. The wearable multi-touch yeah. projector. Let's Please check do. this. Yeah. Let's check this out. Yeah. You want to you need help? This is All right. This is handsome. This is this is nice. Now, 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 uh, what did you say this is called again? We call this the wearable multi-touch projector. We got to come up, but why don't you just call it the Predator? The, <laughs> the, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, yeah. a little bit, looks a little bit, looks fishing. a little bit violent. So yeah. this is kind of like a Kinect here. It is uh, basically like the Kinect, uses the same technology. It's a short throw version of Kinect. Right. So it actually works in this sort of arm reach volume, just the area in front of me. And you think in the future everybody will have like a Lenovo laptop hanging off of their, <laughs> <laughs> hanging off of their side? Right, so is, that the, is this the future? I, I feel like... So we build prototypes, right? And I'm just starting the projector. There's also a laser projector is it a, is it a Pico projector? Pico projector, indeed. Okay, great. And so this is, our, this is actually our second prototype. The first one uh, we built actually just connected to it. First a one had a desktop. desktop Computer. That was hanging off That's of you. Right. So very, it was like a full exactly. gaming right. tower. Wheels, yeah, exactly. and you had like a little assistant to carry next this to you. This is our second one, and of course, if we were to consider productizing this, I mean, we would not have this. This is, but this is a really nice setup because we can actually, you know, write like really sloppy code and get that running on here and yeah, and uh, and do all the experiments we want to do. So you admit your code is sloppy. It, absolutely. That's fine. Absolutely. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. All right. So yeah. show us what this thing, okay. what so, this thing does, so and I then can, tell me why it does it. Right. So this is the idea is to bring some of the interaction into the world, so we can actually uh, co-opt. Um, uh, surfaces in the world, and I'm just going to lean over here and start this, and it'll take a moment to start, hopefully. And uh, is this now what what version of Windows is this? Uh, this is Windows 7, actually. Uh huh. So, um, so haven't upgraded this. yet, huh? Not yet. Not yet. Inter interesting. Okay, so we're using the depth camera to just ignoring actually ignoring that completely. Yeah, exactly. All right. I'll, I'll right past that. <laughs> so here I am. So I'm going to touch the, this um, the wall here. Do you notice that I get a bit of a, a menu? Okay, it's a little bit like our this Windows is, Phone This interface. is the new Windows Phone 8 yeah, I've been yes, hearing about. So, and uh, you notice that as I move back and forth, whoops, there, it just disappeared. That's all right. Let me start that again. And um, as I move back and forth, it actually stays the same size. We're actually using the depth camera to rectify or make it appear as if the, the graphics are the same size. Or actually, you know, the real goal would be to stabilize it so it feel, feels like there's actually painted on the wall. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple things. 
there's a phone icon. We can actually touch this. And there's this ubiquitous slide to unlock. Ooh, oh, there ubiquitous. Uh, yeah. that's a, <laughs> that is a patent case right there. Right, there we go. Uh, Apple, are you watching? Because you're going to have to. You're going down. You're done. Like, yes, why even I, bother? I would, <laughs> just, I just find take whatever money's in your bank account right now and send a check to Apple. Right. <laughs> so we have a dial pad here, so we can do the kind of expected thing. You, know, you notice there's this sort of red red ball here, and that's showing me where it thinks my my finger is. Is this an has, actual phone number? No, well, I, gosh, I hope not. Keep going. Yes. Okay. Let's call someone. So and um, well, I'm just dialing a random oh, number. Here Please we don't go. call that number. Is this actually capable and of it dialing? It is not dialing. It is not dialing. Okay. So that's that's just something we've been playing around with. But that gives you an idea of the sensing technology that we have. So we can do a few other things. Oh, by the way, it's it's multi-touch, right? So and we. Now, can what if my it. finger got in here? What would happen so if this guy work. It might try it. came in? Yeah, it might work. if you come in. Yeah, oh yeah, a look bit. at that. It is working. Yeah. How do so, I? Can I erase this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. This is horrible what you've drawn. Yeah, it, it totally is. Yeah. <laughs> let me see if I can yeah. do. Let me see if I can oh, yeah, do yeah. something. Yeah. Um, so it, it works a little bit better if you come in from the side or uh, a little bit flat. And oh, there we go. go. Yeah. Okay. So, and that has to do with the way oh. that the, the algorithms oh. work, work, that we've run. <laughs> it's going to draw a face, but that's obliterated. Right. Uh, now, you notice that I'm actually um, I'm, uh, stopping each of the little demos by putting my hand over the camera. It's kind of a funny thing to do, but it's a way for us to reset the system. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more things. OK. Um, Great. So we have here's, here's your map. And again, as I move back and forth. Apple might want to also take note of this. <laughs> and uh, so it's multi-touch as well. And so I can scroll around. And there we go. So that's the map. Yeah, not, nothing surprising there. And then uh, let me show you. Can I see the Hoover Dam on that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if it's intact. So uh, there's a couple of other things that we can do. One is the notion of being able to invoke an application just by drawing the space in the world that you want to see, the, um, see it. And that's not be the space was, that you want to yeah. see is what you're saying. Yeah. So um, can you tell me what the so tell me what the practical what you envision a practical application for this is? What is, is that? A, what is that? A tip calculator? So, yeah, exactly. Something like that. So actually, it's a, a, a <laughs> currency, currency converter. converter. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah so that so, so, so give me a practice. So I'm I'm walking around. It's in the future uh, when these are just commonplace. Yeah. Well, give me a scenario where this is becoming. You know, I need this. So a good one would be. Uh, you know, we're, we just met uh, uh, and we're, you know, maybe we met in the hallway and we're, you know, I want to show you something over here and I want to show you it in the large. I don't want to like, you know, huddle around the tiny little phone. Right. I can actually throw this up on the wall and imagine it's bigger and, and brighter and all these things. The projector technology is going to get better, of course. Then we can interact with this as if, as if it were a real, you know, large multi-touch display. Right. Right, so, the, so the guy's like, oh, I just met this uh, nerd with this thing on his set. Uh, <laughs> and, now, and now he wants to show me something. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> that's right. But of course, everybody will have them. Well, so imagine it's a, it's a tiny thing. Maybe it actually fits in, the, in, you know, in a button um, on your shirt. You, the, entire, the, entire the entire thing, thing right. in a button on your shirt. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. think we can get there? I think, I think so. It's really? just a matter of time. Yeah. So, Interesting. I mean, all of these things that I'm showing you here are, are really small when you sort of take them in the limit. I mean, the Pico projector is just a, there's not even a lens on a Pico projector. Right. It's always and can in you, focus, And can you right? show the audience, turn around here. I just want you guys to see, yeah, you're seeing the back, but do you see yeah. this whole setup here? Uh, I mean, the idea that this could get down to the size of a button seems, frankly, like a pipe dream. <laughs> Are you on any uh, dope right now? But, but look at the size of the first cell phones. Right, and look at what, what they're, what That's they're true. at now. That's you know, true. It's like they were it's, originally like this tall. If, They'd have wheels on them. I mean, if you took and a, a thing, a thing with a wire that came out. If you took a modern cell phone and show, showed it to somebody from you know 30 years ago, they'd be like, "What is this alien technology you're showing me?" Right. It does look. It does look yeah. alien. Well, this certainly does. Yeah. Right. Let me let me show you one more thing. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, so let me set this, and then um, I just want to give you a little bit of an idea of, of the processing. Uh, that we're actually doing. So this is just a display that shows the, the fingertip tracking. And you notice there's, it's multi-touch. And then as I reach in, it goes from hover state to a touch state. And it's, uh, we're doing two at once. And then finally, I'm going to back out of it one more time. And real quick, I want to show you the, the nature of the processing that we're doing. And this is, this is basically just showing you the depth stream that we're getting from the Connect camera. Oh, wow. Right? Can I, can I get in here? Yeah, you can get in there, right? And so you can get an idea of some of the processing that we're doing. Do you want to? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what yeah, this what, is. Yeah, exactly right. But <laughs> that's cool, just show, though, that right? Shows you Check in, this out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did I turn it gone. off? Now it's gone. Yeah. I was so I got some, too far away. It's too. Yeah. I was too funky yeah. for it, which is a problem. <laughs> a lot of people feel I'm too funky. And then. And so, machines. And and the, the other thing that we've been studying is the, is the idea that we can actually project onto anything, not not just a whiteboard or a wall or something like that, and um, and then we can. Um, 
we can actually track this, you know, this notepad, for example, Whoa. and actually use that as this a display. This is you're tripping me out. And now. so we can actually do slide to unlock. Oh, uh, yeah, the ubiquitous uh, slide to unlock. <laughs> and then, but then, and then we can even do it on your back. So it's a turnaround. On, on my back. Yeah, yeah. So for example, we can. Use, I don't like where this is headed. Potentially use. Do, uh, do I need to take can, my pants off for this use, demo? Let me go see on. If we can get this to work, right? Okay. Right. So yeah, there we go. So uh, oh, I like this. Oh. You're a little bit lower. I have a little yeah. bit of a back pain in my. That's right. Yeah, right there. It's perfect. There, there Just press. Can you press really hard? There, on, there oh, we yeah. go. Slide to unlock. There okay. We go. Ooh. <laughs> right. Is it? So literally, we can use any surface available. Any is surface slide to unlock supposed to make you sexually aroused? Is that? Uh, <laughs> is that a thing? All right. That's very cool. That's that's very cool. Just turn around here. Let me just. Uh, Andy Wilson, everyone. Andy Wilson, and his. And and. Uh, and we never we never did come up with it. We never did come up with a name for this. Huh? I'm gonna call it the uh, sex machine. Is that cool? <laughs>